everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more of the Ruby Visual Novel with me. And yes, yeah, so we're back here again because you know the new updates now. Yeah, but there's still a lot of dates we still could be doing with a lot of girls that we're just never going to see by the end of the actual story, or at least the way I'm playing it through. So yeah, uh, last time we went and did some. Well, we did Coco's push-up challenge, which yeah, we got obliterated as expected. You should go check that out if you missed it. It was an interesting time with Coco. Uh, before that, we did... What else did we do? We did Ruby's fourth one. I remember that. That was a thing, because that was... That was kind of... It wasn't canon, but, you know. Da -da -da. It wasn't canon, but it was the first one we did. Then we did uh, Jack Semblance training one. So we've done three non-canon ones so far. Uh, what we've got left at this point is three of Blake's. Nora's one. Two of Emeralds. Or, yeah, two of Emeralds. We've got Neon's one, we've got Neo's one, which I'm going to do in the story and canon because I'm definitely going and doing Neo's stuff, definitely. And then we've got two more Velvets. And then we've also got Glinda Goodrich and the twins, but we need to, like, unlock all theirs. Oh, well, but Glinda's we can get, but the twins, they still need to do more events I've not seen yet. But yeah, so we'll just be bit by bit working our way through them, just checking some dates. Because there's only, like, eight more dates, maybe, max. Uh, left in the, st the canon story until we get to the end of the game, which yeah, we're in like the final we're getting to the final stretch of the game Huzzah and Yeah, even with that the last one might be the actual dance Where like everything like comes together for like your whoever you choose and The next one I'm picking is definitely going to be Yang's fourth date again because I did that But that wasn't a canon run because the timelines all weird because of the way the, the uh, updates are getting cut now but yeah, so um that leaves maybe six maybe six and Neo's got like another three to do. So there's maybe like three extra ones after that. And then there's so many other characters just about. Like if Evelyn and Penny get more ones, I'll probably do more of those. <laughs> and stuff like that. And I don't know. I don't know who else we're going to do. But other characters will make it added as well. So you know. It, there's certain ones we're just never going to get done. So we might as well just keep playing through them. So uh, today, today, today. Uh, the comments. Well, there was a couple of different comments. Uh, I saw Emerald get mentioned again. Emerald has three to do though. Or two to do though. So. That's a bunch to do by herself. Same with Blake. Velvet technically has two to do in a row. Could do that. But no, I think I'm going to go for the easier option today. So I saw a comment for Nora and I saw a comment for Neon. I'm really, I'm curious about these two. Because I'm never going to do them in canon anyway. So I might as well give them a look, see, eh? So today we're going to go and see Nora about cooking lesson. Because that's one of the first ones we organized. Like, it's what... We've had this one for so bloody long. <laughs> And I've never done it. I want to go see Nora's event because I love Nora. Nora's a brilliant character in Ruby, so yeah. We're gonna do. We're gonna get to do some cooking with Nora today. Cooking some, with some Nora Valkyrie. All right. Uh, we've got the entire morning. Let's see if the kitchen is free. Oh yeah, because I was working as a chef as well. That's how Nora's event kicks up. You work as the chef for so long, and eventually you speak with Nora, and then you talk about teaching Nora how to cook. This can only end well, I'm sure. Da da da. He not Ren. <laughs> Grown. Is this becoming... Is this going to become a thing? Maybe. Wait, I'm just getting called not Ren. I mean, I suppose everyone's not Ren to Nora. I feel the pancake recipe... No, whoa, 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 with the bar. Calm down. It's far too quick. I feel the pancake recipe disappearing from my memories. No! <laughs> she screams all the phone. I held the phone away from my abused ears. She actually went and shouted into the phone. Resist, pancakes. I'm coming to rescue you. <laughs> Nora, I was joking. Oh, I just wanted to know if you were available for the lesson. This morning works. The kitchen is also available. Oh, oh, oh. How do you know that? Talk about 180, little devil. So, I'll see you there. Don't be late. I got vocal cords for days. Oh, that's going to be fun. Hopefully, there's no more loud noises involved this morning. We're going to spend the morning with Nora, Jin. That's... Ah, oh, you poor Phil. You poor, poor Phil. You have no idea what you've just walked into. Did I teach Nora how to cook? He's insane. Good morning. You're Jin, if I'm not mistaken. Hi, and I'm guessing you're Ren. I've not seen Ren in bloody ages. Wait a second. Is his sprite changed? Like... Okay, when did I last see? I saw, um, Ren. Yeah, did, I think Ren showed up during the Yang 4th Day event thing because all of Team Juniper, I think, showed up in that one. I don't remember, though. This sprite, is this a new sprite? I don't know. It looks good, but I, 
it's been so I don't remember Ren. We don't see Ren very much in the story because <laughs> we don't have any dates with him. And Nora's got obviously tied to him. We've seen John a lot more because John. We've seen John pop up in the story. It's a comical thing. But also because we did Piers two dates, John popped up a lot in them as well. So yeah, we don't see a lot of Ren. Oh my god. Sprite looks awesome. Anyway, what's going on? I, I don't know if this is a new one or not. Because a lot of sprites have been updated as we go. Like, Nora got an updated sprite. And I know other sprites have just been getting updated as they go. But, yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if Rem was one of them. Lyren, yes. So, this is Nora's partner. And her bestie, as she says. He looks quite different from most of the guys I've met up until now. What guys have we met up until now? Psychopaths and John. Yeah, that mostly sums it up. Starting from his clothes and ending with the fact that he's, well, well, he's really pretty. Oh, yeah, because he's, like, he's more, I don't know, Ren's slightly more feminine looking. I don't know, because the slim and the bald up all the way is, I don't know. Like, if Ren dressed up correctly, he could easily pass as a girl. Quite easily. That's just, you know, some people just look more feminine. Some people look more masculine. It's just how it is. So, I hope you're not prepared. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're prepared for your cooking lesson. Kind of. Although... I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries. You're the one who uh, keeps her diet in check, right? You're very considerate. Please come in. I do keep Nora in check, yes. She's not a ki uh, kid, but she has a habit of doing what she wants. And when she feels like, and when she feels like it. Living life to the fullest, so to speak. Which includes gorging on her favorite food. Like, yeah, pancake for days. Among other things. Her metabolism is high enough to not have to worry much about her weight, but she's still vulnerable to stomach aches. So why don't you? Uh, why don't you mind if I teach her how to cook pancakes? Because he already knows it's never going to work. Because <laughs> any money, Ren has tried teaching Nora how to cook pancakes, and he knows with the results. You will find out. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You'll find out at your expense. Expenses. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Here we go. Hey, not Ren. Kitchen's ready. Oh my god, she's blushing. What? Is it because Ren's in the room? Please call me by my name. What exactly is this about not Ren? Is it because I'm teaching her about pancakes? That's normally Ren's thing. Ren's normally the pancake guy. I call him not Ren because he's not Ren. Also known as the meanie who wouldn't teach me how to cook pancakes. Oh. It's because Ren wouldn't teach her. Okay, I mean, it's been so long since I set this thing up. I generally don't remember the dialogue I had with Nora way back then. <laughs> Nora, you've never asked me to teach you how to cook pancakes. Would you teach me how to cook pancakes? Stop saying the word pancakes. <laughs> uh, sorry, Nora. I wouldn't. See what I mean? That's why he's not Ren. By that logic, you could also call me not Ruby, not Blake, or not Evelyn. <laughs> Why would I ever call you that? That's silly. Well, enough dilly dallying. The kitchen awaits. And, yeah, D David is just... Uh, David? Oh, God, I call him by his actual name. Jin just, like, slunk down a little bit there. Yeah, uh, don't try Don't try and play logic with Nora. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I can't believe I just called him David. How did that slip out of me there? Probably because I see it as David everywhere else. <laughs> He's called Jin in my story. In, the canon, in my canon story... The main character is called Jim, but his actual name by default is David. But and whenever I read things about him or like see sprites and stuff, they're always titled as David. But no, my one's called Jin because I got to choose his name and it is Jin. Da. Don't try and apply logic to Nora; it doesn't work. Welcome to my life. Have fun. <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> You've left me to this. Look at this. Ren's just getting the afternoon off. Ren's just Ren's just free for the afternoon. He gets to go relax. Well, I have to take care of Wait, we have a kitchen in here. Wait, what? So, where do we start? Alright, calm down, Jin. It's just cooking. Don't let yourself get swept up in her pace and you'll be fine. No, you're doomed. You're doomed! Run! First of all, we'll have to make the batter. Got the whisks? Or whisk? Up, up, up. Did I just double click there? No, I did not. We're fine. We're fine. Got them! Add the flour. Eggs, milk, oil, and a pinch of salt. Oh my god, we're actually learning how to make pancakes here today, people. Well, don't don't let anyone say that this game doesn't teach nothing, eh? Salt? But pancakes are sweet. But not too sweet, right? I mean, with the amount of syrup she probably puts on them. Oh! And now we need to stir it like this. 
until everything's mixed properly. I see, I see. So, no bubbles, the piece is flowing. Exactly. Everything's going fine so far. Good. Now, she didn't prepare a skillet or anything. I should go on that. Oh my god, you're going you're gonna to look away from Nora for a second. You're going to look away, Jin. I want to try... Uh, well, I grab... Well, I, oh, we need to look for later. Sure. Big mistake. We already know it's going to do it. It's Nora. It's Nora. We already know what's going to happen. In a sense. Oh. All right, let's see where they keep their stuff. Mm, it's getting harder to whip. You can add a little more milk. Okay. All right, here's the skillet. Yep, that should do nicely. Hmm, it's still taking too much. Yeah, it can be tiring, but... It can be tiring, but it's just a matter of finding the right... Uh, let's try with more force. Uh, Nora? Well, it makes it easier to start. The, the, uh, the, so many, because it's Nora, there's so many bits that are skipping. Well, it makes it easier to start. If you go too fast, you risk covering everywhere in paste. Yeah, that's... Whoops, sorry. Calm down, Jen. It's a simple mishap. It happens. I mean, I don't think there should have been enough batter in the mix to cover my face like this, but it happens. Let's, let's try again. No, 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 no. You can't add chocolate chips. That's a lie. That is a lie. Because I've had pancakes recently. And the shop started selling ones that were chocolate chip ones. They also started selling full on like full on chocolate. The pancakes themselves were actually looked like a giant cookie, essentially. But it was like a pan it was soft and puffy like a pancake. It was like full chocolate chip pancakes. And they were bloody delicious. Delicious. Bad for you, but bloody delicious. Because like, yeah, I just saw them and I'm like, I can't resist them. It's like full on chocolate chocolate chip pancakes. They were beautiful. But I like chocolate chip pancakes the best. Nora, we've barely managed to make the batter from normal for normal pancakes. And you had to change clothes. Let's stick to the basics for now. Aww. <laughs> it's just saying this amusing. <laughs> he's sitting there getting relaxed, but yeah, he's, this is entertainment as well for him. This is this actually is entertainment for Rin, because literally whenever uh, anyone else takes over for Nora for a bit, he gets to sit and watch them fail, because he knows what it's like, he knows what they're dealing with, he knows they're going to fail. <laughs> anyway, hey Rin, we're back. Welcome back. Well, don't you look chipper. Something good happened? Someone is teaching Nora how to cook pancakes. Get ready for shocked expressions. There they are. Nora cooking? Yes. Here, see? Once the skillet is hot enough, you put a layer of butter on it so that it doesn't the batter doesn't stick when it's time to flip it. Uh not to be rude, but I'm guessing he doesn't really know Nora, right? No, no, he does not. <laughs> not that well, no. It's still sticking! I don't want to ruin the pancakes. Give it a few more seconds. This side's not properly cooked yet. So, he doesn't know that Nora and things that require pancakes don't mix that well. No. But he should be learning this about now. Then let's make it hotter! <laughs> Nora, it's an electric stove. We can't make- Oh god, Nora, semblance. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on. Lots of text. Holy- Why too hot, too hot, too hot. God almighty, how do you even do that? Later, we've got to put it out, put it out. <laughs> we've got to... What are you doing with the skillet? Ah! Why would you do that? Ren? Yes, John? Please don't enjoy this too much. It's still your partner and our kitchen. I know, I know. But it does feel good seeing someone else deal with one of her moments of high motivation for once. Oh, you sneaky sounds. So here we are. <laughs> oh my god. Nora, are you alright? Okay, there we are. Art piece. So, this is an older piece. So, as you know, like, the newer pieces all have, like, a kind of set style to it. This is one of the older styles, I guess. I guess uh, maybe it's the same artist. They just changed the style where it's a different artist. I don't know who all the artists are. But, yeah. Th I still think this is a really pretty piece, though. This still looks really cool. But you can tell it's definitely, like, different anyway. Even if nothing else, just by how the person looks in that, well. 
I, I'm no artist. I can't say anything. Nora's hair's on fire. Her hair is on fire. Oh, so that looks like it's been dented and exploded. What happened? <laughs> she supercharged the electric oven, didn't she? She used her semblance on the electric oven. Okay, that's a thing. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> I put the fire. Not all of it, but why would you even try to put the fire by hitting it? Why not? It worked. So to speak. <laughs> you... I think her aura didn't protect her in principle. Like, I refuse to shield this dolt from something like this. Although, I don't think we can cook anymore today. Oh, well, that's a freaking understatement. Want me to put out the rest? Pray, please. It kind of hurts to move. Sigh. Hold still. Oh, that was a fun afternoon with Nora. <laughs> so, yeah, that was an experience. And if I never see a pancake again, it will be too soon. Sorry, it's all my fault. Ren always tells me that I should learn to take things more slowly, but... I can't really deny that. Yeah. I bet you never want to see me again. Oh no, that's really sad. No! No, it was, like, it was chaotic, but it was a fun, friendly chaotic. And I'm going to be honest, if I invited a friend round to cook, though, and my oven exploded, I would be pretty annoyed at them. <laughs> if it exploded because they... Well, I mean, they charged it full of electricity and then hit it. I, yeah, I'd be pretty annoyed at that. I'll be honest. I, but I, I think in this world, it makes things a lot more fun because no one really got hurt. And it's the school's oven, so no one really cares. Eh? No, 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 no. But I'll admit, I've also had fun. Really? The kind of fun you get out of being in the presence of something absurd and choosing to laugh instead of cry, but... I guess she's not that bad to hang around. Yeah, I get that feeling, Jen. I get that feeling. Really. But please, no more cooking lessons. I really want to know what Nora's second date will be. Like, she was on the polls for a second date. I don't think she. I don't think she's won. Like, she hasn't obviously won. She's not got a second date. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see her winning, like, anytime soon, maybe. But I am really curious where they, what they do next with Nora. Because this, like, seems like a friendly, fun... Just a fun relationship. Friendly banter type uh, date things. Like, I, I would enjoy more of these. These are quite good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> promise. Maybe next time we can, um, maybe exercise. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> maybe exercise together. I can help you with that. Oh my god, yes. I want that. <laughs> okay, whenever I see more dates pop up, uh, I, I can't even say, like, I'm definitely voting for Nora because I know that's a lie. <laughs> I'll definitely vote for Nora assuming Evelyn and Penny aren't in the same poll. Yes. I mean, because yeah, Yang's already finished. I mean, also Neil's fourth date, though. Hmm. All right, assuming Neo, Evelyn, and Penny aren't it, I'll vote for Nora, definitely. Because I do, I want to see that. That looks, that sounds amazing. You mean, like, working out? I mean, I mean, after what Coco did to you. Oh, wait, that was a different timeline. After what Coco's going to do to you, you're definitely going to need it. Yup. Well... If what happened in the kitchen is anything to go by, she's pretty strong, so she must know our workouts. If Ruby Chibi has taught us anything, it's that that statement is very true. Sure. Alright then, it's the deal. And with that, Jin signed away his soul. Did, did he just agree to work out with Nora? Yet again, Jin doesn't really know Nora, so, you know, he doesn't really get that he shouldn't be doing all these things. Pancakes, workouts, another end of her hammer. Yeah, the things you don't want to do. Yes. Yes, he did. And no one tell. None of this team tells me! No one's telling me! Everyone's just like, oh, well, he'll find out the hard way. The poor misjudged fool. You're not friends with Nora Valkyrie. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, that was good. Oh, I enjoyed that. That was actually quite fun. Da, da, da. Right, there we are. So that's Nora Valkyrie. And our first date out of the way. So, yeah, Nora's not got a second date at this point. Our sprite got updated, but yeah, she's not had a second date. I see her in the polls quite a lot, though. She's normally in, like, the polls for, like, a date, but 
given her competition, she doesn't normally win. <laughs> so that's the thing. I think the second stage of the polls just happened today, actually. I can't remember who they are. I'm actually just quickly... Ah, there's no way of quickly finding it. Like, I know Coco and Emerald and stuff are in there for, like, more dates. I think Jack is in there. Who's the other one? I forget. I forget who else it is. But, yeah. There's a, bu there's a bunch of dates in there. Uh, but, yeah, I think Nora doesn't normally make it very far. Because, well, people like Nora. She's not really that big a presence in the story. So, she kind of gets pushed aside for people like Evelyn. Like, Emerald, who we see a bit more. Because the bad guys pop up a lot more and stuff. So, I can't blame people for voting the way they vote. But, at the same time, I want to see more Nora things. Just because they, they seem fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Alright, people. That's all for today. Also, ooh. Another little thing uh, to do with visual novels. So, technically, the career of this has been working on other projects. He currently has four projects, to my knowledge. He's got this. He's got one that I can't pronounce because I forget the name of it probably, but it's like a fishy one. It's not anime related. It's just his own creation. It's like stuff to do with like fish, underwater people and stuff. And he's got one called, it's Devil something. I forget the name of it. Basically, he's got two other visual novels that he's got the demos out for. At this point. So it's like little things. Like these are things that are getting constantly updated. Like uh, the Ruby one. But it's something he's working on the side as well. Which is cool in its own sense. He's also got the My Hero Academia one. But that's just so far I've only seen little bits of sprites for that. I'm definitely going to be playing that when that comes out. But yeah he's got two other ones. Now they're not anime rated. But they are made by the same guy who made this game. Now they're just the demo. So it don't want to be like one episode. But do we want to see me play those games? Just the demos? Just to try them out? And then like once maybe the game comes out a bit more. I could maybe play it in the future. I don't know, let us know in the comments if you'd like to see the other games by the same the same creator as this um, on the channel. Let us know, kids. I'm tempted to. Like, I haven't touched them. I haven't played them yet. I haven't touched the demos. I've got them downloaded, but I haven't touched them. Just because I'm, I'm kind of debating, should I should I record them? I don't know, because they're not anime. But at the same time, we've seen what the guy can do when it comes to stories and stuff. So it's it does seem like it would be interesting, even if it's not related to that. Plus, it's only the demo, so it'd only be like one episode. It'd be short anyway, probably. I don't know. Let us in the comments if you'd like to see that. Alright people, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time for a uh, more Ruby visual novel. Where, I don't know, I'm probably going to go for Neon next. Just because it's another little simple one. Then I'll do like, I'm probably going to do Velvet after that to be honest. The way it's going. Like if I'm doing Emerald, it'll be last. Oh no, it's not, well, Emerald's two dates. I don't know, Emerald and Blake will probably be doing them last. Because just cause there are more dates. But um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to do Neon next just because I really want to know what Neon's one's about. Because I've been curious for ages. And then I'll probably do Velvet, just because I've already done one of Velvet, so I'm kind of on that line anyway, so... Da, da, da. Let me take a look at that. Right, anyway, see you next time for more Ruby Visual Novel. Goodbye, everybody.